Hi Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. And be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. Okay, so these two ones want to come out, Sacred Womb and Celebrate. Let's take a look at what these cards say. The seeds of your creation are blossoming. Time to nurture and birth the new within love, hope and enthusiasm. There is, there is a new experience a new experience that's going to be taking place this week or sometime very soon for you and you're excited about it or you will be getting enthusiastic about this new thing that's entering your life or that lands in your lap. I do feel that this is going to be for the longer term. So you're actually starting something new for the longer term or you have you have a feeling, you have a goal um, for um, a longer term projection of things. It is a time to nurture. So this is nurturing something in your life and you'll know what spirit is talking about here for you if it resonates. It may be a workplace or career for you. It might be a relationship. It might be a friendship perhaps. You'll know what spirit is talking about here for you if it is indeed a message for you at this time. You're nurturing something and when you are, you're putting time and energy into this and because you're putting this time and energy in, spirit is saying here that it's going to be birthing something new uh, into your life. So beautiful energy here, a sacred room, uh, womb. This may also mean that there is a pregnancy as well perhaps. And we have celebrate, which is wonderful. The energy of excitement is in the air. Good news, announcements and celebration bring unity and gratitude. Coming together with others, there is a reward. It's time for you to receive. Um, I'm feeling that this is truly a blessing for you. Um, the greatest news is on the way and it's going to make you celebrate in some way. Good news, announcement, celebration. I love it. So that energy is coming in soon. Expect that energy to be around you this week or coming in over the next few weeks if it doesn't come through this week. Now let's see with this deck of cards, Leo. Guidance for Leo. We have Dragonfly and marriage. This may be the celebration, perhaps. Perhaps it's a marriage. Marriage is also a contract, a union, coming together with another person in unison and an agreement. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Beautiful energy. So um, if you are looking for love, if that's you, then there's love on the cards here. There's, there is a something here for the longer term actually it's marriage it's a it's a long-term commitment not a short-term fling um, so this can also be around any kind of agreement or engagement and the dragonfly have confidence during this time of great joy renewal and connection to spirit so this week there's definitely a renewal a celebration an excitement um, great news coming through and the newness of the sacred womb. So there is an energy here of newness, a birth, um, a new horizon. Um, there is something very new, a renewal happening here, which I sense is truly fantastic for you, Leo. So expect that energy to come in this week for you. Guidance for Leo with this deck of cards, please, Spirit. So we have this one. It's an energy of release. I stop fighting my fears and the hardships of life. I control my thoughts, live in the present moment and accept each stage of life. I work on what I have power over and put into God's hands what I can't change. I trust that everything will work out for the best. 
you will know what it is that you need to release from your life. If this card resonates, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's about you realizing your fears, stop fighting your fears and being in the present moment, living with mindfulness, ex accepting what is happening in your life right now, even if it's not something that is acceptable to you consciously, there's an acceptance that needs to take place or will be taking place because you put everything into God's hands, sources and universal hands and you, you trust, you trust that everything will work out for you because everything will work out for you. Um, it's just a process of releasing what no longer serves you, Leo. Guidance for Leo. Yes, this one here, everything changes. So there seems to be a theme here about changing, changes, um, decisions being made, different um people and and situations they're they're leaving your life and new ones will come in very soon for you as soft light radiates from my heart it illuminates those around me and transforms every situation i encounter i maintain a positive attitude in spite of any difficulties i may perceive no matter the circumstances i remain a source of true joy Everything changes when it is bathed in the light of the divine. So I really feel with these two cards, it's about handing over any stress, worries or anxieties and challenges that you have to God, to source, to universal energies, release it, go with these changes. You'll know what spirit is talking about here for you, what these changes are and they may be difficult changes challenging changes but release the energy release the energy this week let's see with this deck of cards okay let's see we have the tower so this is an event a circumstance something very challenging here the tower represents that drama the breakdown of something in your life um, it's a tumultuous moment and the tower the tower is is burning up crashing down you thought everything was okay uh, perhaps before this happened but in fact it wasn't in alignment with who you truly are on a soul level and so that's why it is happening. So you can become more in alignment with your true self. Ultimately, that's what the tower is about. Judgment is about a decision that's been made that can be life changing or that will be life changing or life altering. A judgment may be made on you. You may be expecting this judgment in some way. Um, from someone or a group of people here um, so this may be in the workplace perhaps or in another area of life a judgment is going to come down this energy is also representing being able to overcome the tower a trauma and a sadness a grief anxiety around this tower and rebuild from scratch, rebuild and plant new seeds that are in, are in alignment with who you really are. The Queen of Wands, so a fire sign here, your sign, Leo, you may be dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius, perhaps another Leo as well, that is possible. The Queen of Wands, very dynamic energy, being able to handle different energies being thrown at you this week. Your crown is securely on your head, so you definitely have a sense of authority and empowerment that you will start to feel this week if you don't feel it already. Beautiful. Let's see your next card. The King of Cups. So we have the fire element of the wands balanced with the water energy of the cups, which is all about emotions, spirituality and 
finding the truth, being compassionate and honorable in your actions, in your words and how you live your life. So very much being aware of your internal emotional self. Okay, so there's reflection happening here at some level, Leo. The King of Cups may also represent someone in your life coming in who is a water sign. This can also indicate that there is um, a level of um, help, assistance or guidance coming from a person toward you. They being represented by the King of Cups. There is strength around you. This is your card, Leo. So a card of empowerment for you. You're looking at the shadows, you're reflecting on what has been or what is happening around you in a way that you're going to draw strength from this situation. Yes, the tower, some, there's been a disruption, you could say. A disruption it has happened, everything is changing, you're needing to draw on inner strength and you will be able to do so with ease. Have confidence during this time. Have confidence. Don't be afraid to look into different things. Don't be afraid to go outside your comfort zone a little bit. It does look like there may be um, strength needed or um, fortitude in a marriage connection or union. Something may be changing when it comes to an agreement, a commitment, romantic perhaps, but it doesn't have to be. Everything is changing here in this way and I'm seeing that with these connected cards. You have some really beautiful and powerful energy around you. It looks like you have been or are going through a big shift in your life with the tower judgment and the changes that I see here. Know that you are able to use your creation, use your power of creation to manifest a new life, to manifest something better for yourself, something that you truly desire. You will be able to bring that through into your life in a real way. There is something to celebrate. I feel there is good news. There is um, really great news coming your way, an announcement and some kind of uh, celebration seems to be around you also. So very powerful energies. Let's take a look at an affirmation card. Guidance, please, spirit for Leo. Affirmation card for Leo. This one here is yours. I intuitively make favorable and blessed business decisions. So you may know um, that your business, your work, your career is in, in need of um, a change, in need of you making a decision. And if that's you, use your intuition and go with that. Stick with that. Be grounded in that. And you can use this as an affirmation. I intuitively make favorable and blessed business decisions. Beautiful energy, Leo. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. It's been really wonderful to read for you today. If you did enjoy the reading, you can click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel. And thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. It is such a huge help. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for the support. Have a wonderful week, Leo, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.